Good morning class. Our lesson for today is all about the global and local teacher professional. So for this lesson, global education has been described by two definitions. So the first definition is UNESCO defines a global education as a goal to develop countries worldwide and is aimed educating all people in accordance with world standards. Another definition is that global education is a curriculum that is international in scope, which prepares today's youth around the world to function in one world environment under teachers who are intellectually, professionally, and humanistically prepared. And so, by 2030, the seven outcome targets of SDG must have been achieved. These are number one, universal primary and secondary education. So, this ensure all girls and boys complete free, equitable, and quality primary and secondary education, leading to relevant and effective learning outcomes. Number two is the early childhood development and universal pre-primary education. This ensures that all boys and girls have access to quality, early childhood development, care, and pre-primary education so that they are ready for primary education. Number three, equal access to technical or vocational and higher education. This ensure equal access for all women and men to affordable and quality technical, vocational, and tertiary education, including university. Number four is the relevant skills for decent work. Substantially increase the number of youth and adults who have relevant skills, including technical and vocational skills for employment, decent jobs, and entrepreneurs. Number five is the gender equality and inclusion. This eliminates gender disparities in education and ensure full access to all levels of education and vocational trainings for vulnerable, including persons with disabilities, indigenous people, and children in vulnerable situations. Number six is the universal youth literacy. Ensure that all youth and substantial proportion of adults both men and women achieve literacy and numeracy. And number seven and the last, education for sustainable developments and global citizenship. Ensure all learners acquire knowledge and skills needed to promote sustainable development, including among others through education for sustainable lifestyles, human rights, gender equality, promote culture of peace and nonviolence, global citizenship and appreciation of cultural diversity and cultures contribution to sustainable development. So, based on the seven outcomes of SDG, what should be the target that needs to be achieved? Well, it is to increase the supply of qualified teachers through international cooperation for teacher training in developing countries, especially the less developed countries and island developing states. As James Becker defined, global education as an effort to help individual learners to see the world as a single and global system, see themselves as a participant in that system. It is a school curriculum that has a worldwide standard of teaching and learning. Now, let us describe the global and local teachers. Global and local are terms used to describe different types of teachers in the context of education. A global teacher is one who is knowledgeable about and interested in teaching and learning practices that transcend national borders. A local teacher, on the other hand, is one who understands the local context and culture of their students while also being attuned to global trends and issues. 
Global teachers are those who possess a deep understanding of international issues, cultures, and languages. They are open-minded, empathetic, and culturally sensitive, and they strive to incorporate global perspectives into their teaching practices. Global teachers often use technology and other tools to connect with educators and students around the world and to provide their students with a broader understanding of the world and its people. On the other hand, local teachers are those who are deeply connected to their local community and culture. They understand the unique needs, interests, and challenges of their students and are able to tailor their teaching approaches accordingly. At the same time, local teachers are also aware of global trends and issues, and they work to incorporate this into their teaching practices to help their students become globally-minded citizens. In practice, many teachers incorporate both global and local perspectives into their teaching practices. They understand the importance of connecting with their students to a personal level while also preparing them for success in a rapidly changing interconnected world. So, these two kinds of teachers should be combined because this can help their students develop a deep understanding of both their own culture and the cultures of others while also gaining the skills and knowledge needed to succeed in globalized economy. So remember that these two perspectives should be combined. So what do you think are the demands of globalization in the 21st century on teacher professionals? There is an importance of intercultural competence, the need for technological literacy, the role of language proficiency, the importance of global awareness, and the demand for flexibility and adaptability. So, in a globalized world, teachers must be equipped with intercultural competence to effectively engage with diverse students and foster inclusive learning environments. This includes understanding cultural differences, adapting teaching strategies to meet the needs of different learners, and promoting respect for diversity. Technology has also become an integral part of education and is changing the way students learn and interact with information. Therefore, teachers must be proficient in using technology as a teaching tool and understand how it can enhance student learning. While globalization has led to an increase in multilingual classrooms, which means that teachers need to be proficient in the language spoken by their students to effectively communicate and support their learning. With the increasing interconnectedness of the world, teachers need to be globally aware and knowledgeable about current events, issues, and trends that affect their students' lives. This includes an understanding of global issues such as climate change, poverty and inequality, and how these issues impact different regions of the world. And then, in a rapidly changing world, teachers must be flexible and adaptable to new teaching methods, technologies, and student needs. This requires a willingness to learn and continuously improve one's teaching practice. One's teaching practice. Do you have any questions or clarifications? If none, so I will give you your assignments. So for your assignments, I want you to access my website. And you can find there my assessment for you. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.